Hey lovies! If you were watching my story, I know that you were thinking that I was gonna put up a vlog today, but surprise! I decided to do alt makeup instead. The tea is I did film my daily vlog, I just, um, it was so boring and just bad that I decided to do this instead. Now I'm gonna preface this by saying I am no alt-grunge-glitchcore um, makeup expert, but I am gonna do my best at doing a blue one because I did do this red one, which is on my Instagram. Uh, also, I've been doing some reels on Instagram, trying to figure out how it works. Maybe I'll do a reacting to reels in the future. Basically, the end goal is to be grunge, alt, but like with the color blue and like some moons maybe, I don't know. We're just gonna mess around and see what happens. For the first step, I'm gonna straighten my hair and I know that that's not a necessity for the grunge look, but my hair's just kind of uh, right now because I wasn't allowed to get a haircut until I get this video done and edited. It's like a reward. I'm allowed to get a haircut if I work. <laughs> But personally, I just think it'll look better if I have my hair straightened because my hair is just so overgrown. It's wet right now, so you can't even tell that it's overgrown, but as it dries, it just goes, and I can't deal with it. I literally look like the end of a Q-tip, and I can't deal with it. I don't want to deal with it. Let's go to straighten my hair. Welcome to my mirror. <laughs> I have this super good, high quality hair dryer from Revlon, you know, and I've got to dry the crap out of my hair. You, let's see, up close. It is wet up here, honey, wet, so. Cue the not annoying sound music. Wow, I really, I look like a cotton ball. I for real look like a cotton ball. <laughs> now I'm going in with my hair straightener because my hair is dry and it is voluptuously thick. So I typically do all of my hair straightening downward, like forward, and then I go in and I curl some of the ends to make it kind of curl up. But I'm gonna definitely have to straighten it again after the look because I sweat so much when I do my makeup. And here I go, I'm already sweating. You guys get the point of me straightening my hair. So once I'm done, I'll meet you in the other room and I'm gonna be putting in this American Crew fiber. And if I need to, I might put in some beach salt spray just to add a little wave back into my hair. So I'll see you guys back in the beauty makeup room. Hair is done, base is on, period. For foundation, I used this Morphe 2 Hint Hint Skin Tint in the shade Hint of Almond. For concealer, I used this CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer in the shade L700. And then to set everything in place, I used this Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. For contour, I'm gonna be going in with this Smashbox Contour Palette. I swear I've had this for five years. It's probably spoiled, but it's the only thing that has like a really cool toned blush that I own. And I'm doing blue makeup, so. Did I say blush? I meant contour. It's the only one that has like a cool toned contour that I own. I know that this contour looks a little bit strange. I'm gonna um, blend it in with a different brush and I needed it to be this color contour because I'm wearing dark and blue makeup so I need it to be cool toned you know what I mean using my it cosmetics brush I'm gonna start blending everything see much better already it's just a darker color do you know what I mean like all my other ones are very bright and this is just dark It is hot and my hair looks crazy. Now with the same brush, I'm gonna go in with my Hoola Benefit Bronzer just to kind of blur everything a little bit better. Now taking my Sailor Moon X ColourPop from the Moon blush, I'm gonna put that everywhere. It's bright, it's it's got the color that I want, so apply everywhere.
Going back in with my little bit of Hoola bronzer, I'm taking the other end of this brush and I'm just gonna lightly carve out my nose because I'm not very good at contouring it. So I just kind of lightly carve her out and then I blush it all away. For my eyebrows, I'm going in with the Morphe 35W palette, and I'm just going to use the shade that's black because I want black eyebrows. Mm. Ooh. Yes, the concentration of having to do a brow. Now for the tips of my brows, I'm gonna go back over them a little bit with some black eyeliner. I know that sounds a little bit weird, but I use powder, so it just makes the ends look a little bit sharper, especially since I'm trying to make them look like dork, very, very dork. For eyeshadow, I'm gonna be using this Blue Moon palette. It's all blues. And my whole look is gonna be blues today, so I'm pretty much just gonna use this unless I use a black from that Morphe palette to deepen it up. So, going in with fine china, I'm just gonna literally put it all the way around both my eyes. Completely all the way around. Now going in with clued in, I'm just going to put it on this top part and kind of let it blur out a little bit. Just kind of go like this, literally. I want it to look messy. I want to look deranged a little bit. Then adding a little bit of that fine china, again, to just the very tip of my nose. Using a shade from a palette that I'm not allowed to say that I own anymore because the person is super canceled, but it's a blue palette. You, I'm sure, know what the palette I'm talking about is, but I'm gonna use the darkest shade in it to make my eye even darker. Now, this is where the hard part starts. I'm gonna do some huge eyeliner and um just pray for me you know just like put out a little thought for me right now because eyeliner is something I'm newly diving into so if I mess up I'm just I'm gonna cry so Yes, I was holding my breath, if you're wondering what I'm doing. Now I'm just gonna pop a couple wings off of it. That is some liner, baby, that's some liner. Now taking my Anastasia Beverly Hill lip palette, I'm gonna take this blue and I'm gonna just add it to the middle of my lip. Oops, <laughs> not my teeth. <laughs> Now using the black shade from the same palette, I'm just going to add some to the tips of my mouth. Because the black is my border.
Now, just for fun, since I'm wearing blue, I have this ColourPop QT moon shaped marker, like it's these little moon shapes. So I'm just gonna stamp them in a couple different places, one on each end of my lip. both sides Ooh, I look like a witch I look like a clown I look like a witch that's what I look like I'm like for these last couple steps I'm gonna put my hair in a little teeny ugly little bun <laughs> going in with some Becca highlighter in the shade pearl gotta add some to the tip of my nose and just straight down For lashes, I'm gonna be using my favorite brand lashes. These are Blunt Beauty, and they're blue. They're like, you can kind of see them. They're like black and blue, and I'm, they're just gonna look perfect with this look. So I'm gonna cut, and I'm gonna have my lashes on, and then we'll be ready to change into a fit and finish my hair. Now that my makeup's done, I'm gonna go really quickly, straighten my hair one more time, and I'll be right back. Hair's done, moving back to the other room. It is now outfit change time. So here's the fit, the before. I'm in my shorts and my little muscle shirt. So we gotta grunge alt this up. I'll be right back. I'm like, did somebody order a clown? Did somebody order a clown? So here's the fit. I've got two shoelaces, a black and white one, oversized jeans, I have a long sleeve that says missing and like unmissed or something on this side. Vision change. I have two nose rings on and my earrings. Ooh. Ooh. Let's look at this in under better lighting. Yes. 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 Yes, I did that. Okay, I'm gonna go make some reels, take some Instagram pictures. Thank you guys so much for enjoying this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave a nice comment down below and subscribe to me. You're beautiful, you always will be beautiful and you're perfect. Be smiley, not gloomy. Bye bye